Good day, grade 5. So today we will have our new lesson in block 2. Lesson 3. So before we proceed with our lesson proper, we have the equation of 36 plus 36 divided by 9 is equal to blank. So what would be the answer? So as you observe at the equation, we have two operations. Okay, what if we will start with the addition? 36 plus 36 is equal to 72. 72 divided by 9, we got 8. What if we will start with 36 divided by 9? 36 divided by 9, we got 4. 36 plus 4, we got 40. In this equation, we will use the rule of MDAS. What is MDAS? MDAS is the rule of applying different operation or multiple operations so and then we'll start with the multiplication division addition and subtraction so the first thing you need to do is to look at the operation wherein there is a multiplication okay so at our equation there is no multiplication so we will move with division so, the first step that we need to do is division. So, which of the following has a correct process of solving the equation? Okay, very good. The result was the equation that has the result of 40 because it acquires the MDAS rule. So, the correct answer of our 36 plus 36 divided by 9 is equal to 40. Always remember M does rule multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So today we will have our block 2 lesson 3 with the title of using the PM does rule. PM does rule. So this would be our aim for today. Students will be able to to use PM does rule to solve arithmetic expression. So this is the the order of operation. Because we have no e, we will not use exponent or we will not um, follow the exponential forms we'll just have the pm -D -D -A -S, which is p for parenthesis m for multiplication d for division a for addition s subtraction again Parenthesis, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So this would be our activity for today. Solve the problems using the PMDAS rule. Solve the expression inside the parenthesis first. Follow the order of MDAS, which is multiplication or division first depending on whichever comes first so the expression after that add or subtract depending on whichever comes first in the expression so let's have letter a 1000 times the quantity of 130 minus 90 is equal to blank 1000 times the quantity of 130 minus 90 is equal to blank Okay, so we will use the rule of PM thus rule. 
So first we will solve the the parenthesis or the operation inside of our parenthesis, which is 130 minus 90. The result will be okay. Very good. That is 40. After getting the result in our parenthesis, we can now move with the multiplication. M does. Okay. 1000 times 40 is equal to 40,000. So this is the answer of our equation in our arithmetic expression in number or letter A. 40,000. Let's have letter B. We have the quantity of 1,900 plus 100 times 32 minus 2,000. The quantity of 1,900 plus 100 times 32 minus 2,000. So, there is a... Um, four op or three operations or four operations that are represent in our layer B. First, we need to do the parenthesis inside of the parenthesis. Next would be your multiplication and we will do the subtraction. Okay, so let's start with adding our 1,900 plus 100. So that is 2,000. After solving the operation inside of our parenthesis, we will now move with multiplying 32. So 2,000 times 32, that is 64. Thousand. After multiplying, we'll now subtract with the 2,000. So what would be our answer? Okay, very good. That is 62,000. So let's have a letter C. It's now your turn. To answer our arithmetic expression in letter C, please take um please pause the video and able for you to answer first before knowing the correct answer. Okay, time is up. So, what did you do first? Okay, dividing the 1,452 divided by 2. 1,452 divided by 22 inside of the parenthesis. So, what would be the answer? Okay, very good. That is 66. What would be the next thing or the operation we will use? Okay, very good. After the parenthesis, we will use the M, multiplication. 600 times 66 is equal to, okay, 39,600. After getting the, the result in multiplication or the product, we'll now add 39,600 plus 3,200. So the result is 42,800. Did you got the correct answer? Okay, very good. So let's have a letter D. Another take a pause at 
pause the video and able for you to answer first before we proceed. Okay, time is up. So what would be the answer? Or how did you did you answer the arithmetic expression? Okay, let's start with solving the operations inside of our parentheses. Okay, let's start with 2000 minus one thousand uh, one thousand five hundred that is five hundred and the second upper um parenthesis uh, that is five thousand divided by fifty we got one hundred now that we have the result of our operation or the the result of the operations inside of our parenthesis we can now multiply the following numbers so the result is 50,000 so just multiply 5 times 1 that is a 5 and copy the 4 zero so we got a 50,000 okay so how can we solve expression involving multiple operations Always remember to follow the PM DOS parenthesis, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So, why do we need to follow specific order? Enable for us not to get an incorrect answer. So, even though we are doing the um or following the pm dos rule we need also to be more careful of solving each operations so how about uh, this one we have the quantity of 1400 times 80 plus the quantity of 3,200 divided by divided by 40 is equal to 1,400 times 400 is equal to 160. So what is the error in our solving? Okay, very good. It doesn't follow any rules in our PMDOS rule. So, the answer of 160 is uh, wrong. So, how do we solve this arithmetic expression? So, first, we need to solve 1,400 times 80. That is 112,000. Do not forget the operation plus then we will do the second parenthesis which is 3200 divided by 40 so the result is 80 now that we have the result of each of the two parentheses that we have in our arithmetic expression we can now find the correct answer which is 112080 so this is the correct solving or answer in our expression now that you know how to um use the pm dos rule you need also to careful about doing the the operation or solving it now i want you to get your workbook um answer seat work number three using the pm dos rule in page 12 seat work number three using the pm dos rule page 12 
And do not forget also your assignment. Answer block 2, lesson 3. Practice questions 1 to 3 from Exit Content Book. Then write your answers in, in your notebook. So if you do have any um if you have a question you can um message on my email. So that will be all for today. God bless.